Alrighty, folks, we're gonna try and make the most burned bagel. <laughs> no, we're not. We're gonna make the most beautiful and Instagram-worthy bagel. So let's jump right into it. But before we get started, if you end up liking this video or would like to support this channel, then consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. To start off, I like to prepare the yeast mixture first. I like to do this step separately just to make sure that the yeast is active and blooming so that all my hard work doesn't go to waste. We're going to take about one and one third cup of warm water and then add about one and a half tablespoons of sugar and add our one packet of dry active yeast. Then stir it all up and then put it to the side for about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna add about three and a half cups of flour in a bowl to which we're gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Next, for kneading the dough, transfer everything into a mixer. Pour over your yeast. If your yeast activated properly, then it should appear milky and look like this. I just prefer using a mixer as it allows me to be lazy, but you can use your hands and get the same results. If you're using the mixer, knead your dough for about five minutes, or if you're using your hands, knead your dough for about eight to 10 minutes until that dough is smooth. Next, cover your hands in oil and gently take out your dough. Once it's nicely coated, drop it back in and apply some cling wrap on top. Put it in a warm place for about one hour. I usually put my dough inside the oven with the light turned on. I think the oven light gives off enough heat for the dough to rise evenly. After one hour, our dough should have risen. Lightly dust your surface and take out your dough. Then you're gonna punch it down, sadly I forgot to show that, and take it out on the surface. Start kneading it until you can form another ball. The key here is to remove any air from the dough. Once you have done that, you're gonna divide your dough into 8 even pieces. This recipe makes about 8 bagels. You're gonna wanna make smooth dough balls. And as an example, this is how I made mine, and this is what everything should look like. To shape your bagels, you're gonna wanna do two things. First, put some parchment paper on the surface, and second, wet your hands by using some water. This will make sure that the dough does not stick to your hand or the surface. To shape the bagel, you're gonna pinch a hole in the middle, and using your fingers, stretch it out. It's super simple and easy to do. Keep looping through until a big hole has formed. Here's another view from the side. It's pretty simple. Once you have a hole, just keep stretching it out using two fingers. If you mess up, that's okay. Just make your dough ball again and start over. Once you're done shaping all your bagels, cover it up with a cloth and set it aside for 30 minutes to allow it to rise. After 30 minutes, the bagel should look a lot puffier. At this point, we're ready to boil them. Yeah, you heard right. We're gonna boil them. But before we can start boiling them, go ahead and individually cut the parchment paper. This will allow us to easily drop them in the hot water later. Be really careful at this step. Don't burn yourself. You're going to take the parchment paper and drop it in. This is the cleanest way to boil the bagels. If you like your bagels nice and chewy, then you want to boil them for one minute on each side. I find that to be the sweet spot. Next up, we're going to apply the egg wash. To make the egg wash, I used a splash of milk and one whole egg white. For some reason, I wasn't in the mood for applying egg yolk. Apply the egg wash evenly so that our bagels get that golden color. To season the bagels, I used a 50-50 mix of black and regular sesame seeds. You can use any seasoning like garlic and poppy seeds. You can also find a bagel seasoning at the grocery store. It's really up to you how you want to season your bagels. To take my bagels up the next level, I topped it with a 50-50 mix of cheddar and mozzarella cheese. The cheese bagel reminded me of the everything with cheese bagel that you normally get at Starbucks or any other store. Finally, I baked everything at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees centigrade for about 20 minutes. And this is what they look like once they came out of the oven. The bagels came out nice and golden and they were fully baked through. A good way to tell if things are baked properly is by looking at the bottom. The bottom should also be nicely toasted. Here's what the bagels look like up close, really nice and delicious. And that's pretty much it for making bagels. Once you have made your bagels, now you can easily make bagel sandwiches. You can use any topping or ingredients as you like. My version is pretty basic. Start by cutting the bagel in half and apply generous amounts of cream cheese. Top it up with your favorite toppings. I used cucumbers, onions, jalapenos, and it tasted really delicious. If you know any awesome toppings for bagel sandwiches, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking to try out different ingredients and different sandwiches, so do let me know. I'm really happy with how this recipe turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to hearing your feedback in the comments below. See you in the next video. You know what to do. Enjoy the b-roll.